Welcome to another LEGO Ninjago DQ bootleg review. This is a number uh, 47, 10047 to 10052. This is mostly a villain set with um, two types of Zanes in here. Um, getting insane, oh so many Zanes. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we got Pi 4, Tournament Zane, Echo Zane. And uh, these numbers here go right after the previous video that I did with uh, the six. Uh, six different ninjas in their latest suit designs. Uh, General Kozu, Kazu, Giant Stone Warrior, and Yang, one of the ghosts. So, uh, there are no preview sheets in here, there are no Ninjago cards in these, uh, and there are no instruction sheets in these. So, everything you see on these will be on the box itself, which for the most part is fine, saves some paper, I guess. Uh, you know, if Deku decides to switch to just a bag release, I'd be fine with that. If you guys want to take a closer look at the box art and photo shoot of the figures, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. And of course, um, if you check out my other video, the other lot of uh, Ninjago figures, the numbers come just before this, have pretty much the same style box art as these because they're the same, uh, they're like part A and part B of the same wave. So let's do the uh, ninjas first. Uh, we have Echo Zane here. So yeah, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, very steampunk, steep, steampunk. Yeah, my voice is dropping. He has a staff here and just a standard single piece staff there. And uh, this is kind of cool, lime transparent plastic piece going on that's kind of cool and then, yeah he's like I said he's very steampunk um, so I like this a lot uh, not the legs so much the legs just look like he's just stepped in the toilet uh, but the body there the clock thing going on it's very nice and the print on this figure is copied very well even the legs I don't really find any fault with the legs that's that's really cool I uh, usually Deku really messes up on the bend there and legs but this is really really good uh, very very nicely copied um, this will be a good figure to use for, to make your own custom steampunk characters, not necessarily related to the Ninjago. Uh, the back there, now the back is a little bit more related to Ninjago because you've got that logo thing going on. The back of the head is really interesting too. Um, you can probably turn this head around and pretend it's like a single eyed steampunk monster thing. In fact, let's do that. Minions gone bad. Well, badder than the audio. Ooh. Oh, the uh, the Cyclops movie, the horror movie, but the steampunk version. Uh, does you know that there's a black and white movie of a giant sort of guy dressed up as like or going ever going and killing people? Uh, there we go. Yeah, very very nice. This is probably my favorite Ninjago figure of all time. On well, this design, anyway. For those of you who don't know, uh, Deku. Although it looks like that's inside, they are compatible with Lego, uh, but uh, it's a little bit tight if you plug the legs into a Lego body and a Lego leg plugging into a Deku body it's a little bit looser than it should be at least that's what I think anyway yeah really nice figure and all these figures all come with a 3x4 plate with a 1x4 stud bar going through the middle let's look at the other stain here he's got a pretty nice sort of white snow staff there it looks pretty cool <laughs> no, no pun intended Ooh. and um, yeah, his leg clutch isn't very good though it's got a uh, silver sword on the back, has this double sword backpack. I do like these a lot. It's a nice variation over the previous ones that we have with the uh, cross X sword pack, and also means it's a little bit thinner than the uh, cross sword pack, which makes sense because the swords actually have to cross over each other, so they they have they need less space. And yeah, uh, pretty nice design. Robot thing going on. You definitely use that head for cyborgs. That'd be cool. Back is also printed pretty decently. I think the silver is a little bit off, but uh, that's too expected with Deku. But overall, I'm impressed. This is actually printed quite well. Unfortunately, he has really loose legs. Uh, the clutch here is not good at all in this figure. It's uh, quite horrible, in fact. I mean, he can still stand, but I'm um, not really sure if he can stand properly one leg for too long. Next up, we have this guy who has a uh, pretty nice triple claw thing, a transparent piece, uh, but these pieces while they do look like it, they do not glow in the dark, so don't even bother, they don't, they just don't. Uh, he's got one of these ghoul leg pieces, which I do like a lot, silver hat, I also like, which would be good to make my own Raiden from Mortal Kombat, to move that beard, uh, the beard is 
soft rubbery plastic, so that's good. And the there he is inside. Now this piece does have the standard Lego shape, so, so they didn't cut out on that. Shirt's pretty good. Uh, definitely use this to make um, customize uh, uh, Jiang Shi's or uh, going see Chinese vampires. Very traditional Asian robe there. You can just keep that face, to be honest, because it's, it's a very traditional Chinesey face with Chinesey beard. So that's good. That's a pretty nice figure. Got these uh, snake, the snake character, python or whatever. It's got a light axe and a standard orc-ish sort. Um, let's take this head off for a sec. Now this tail piece is a rubbery piece and it does come disassembled, so you have to plug this tail in yourself. So this whole robe thing going on. Now without the snake body, this is still a very nice robe. So I like that. This is a very nice robe. You can use it to make uh, a say, sort of snake Sith Lord or maybe Jedi from the Knights of the Old Republic. And um, <clears throat> the head, uh, I do wish the head isn't constantly in the open mouth stage. But um, that's asking more of the uh, original Lego design. I want a closed mouth one. Or at least articulated mouse. I wonder if they can do that. And while this figure does look nice if you don't move him, as soon as you rotate the head, of course. Just, again, this is more complete to Lego design. You get a cut in the body, so that just looks a little bit off. It's still a nice looking figure, and this has been copied again. Pretty nice. The print on the head is spot on. Uh, and the design, the print on the body as well is pretty spot on. So that's good. And when I got these taller characters again, he's got a light uh, blade thing and a silver spear. And that, that horn just got knocked off. Let me get that off. Um, <laughs> he's got a standard sort of jailbreak guy with dark skin. Oh no, if you have a black uh, brown head, you can be like, Oh, the police put me in the prison again because of color. <laughs> Oops. Political. Uh, black life matters, of course. And uh, yeah, I guess, so I guess you can use that piece of that if you really want to. Uh, but of course, no, he, these uh, Ninjago worlds confusing to me. It's like ninjas and ancient, but no, it's not. It's quite modern. They've got mobile phones and everything. Uh, yeah, quick print on the back, quite decent. Uh, no print on this piece, and plastic seems a little bit well because of scratch marks there going on. It's not too nice. The face is printed alright. For a black plastic with print on it, it's very sharp and very clear, so I'm quite impressed. The print on the armor is also pretty nice. I don't like these masks too much because. Um, I don't know if that's just official Lego problems or just the bootleg problems, but uh, the mouthpieces on both of these and always have been uh, quite easy to pop off and quite annoying to pop back on, so I don't like them at all. Finally, we have much like the red version. Um, it's got this um, elven blade there. So that's what they use for Love of the Rings sets and this light blade here which made of soft plastic so that's fun and nice. Like I said, these things again, like I said, keeps popping off so um, they're not easy to pop back on. There we go. Helmet off. Uh, popped off again. So yeah, it's got this angry fire face there. It looks pretty cool. Printed body armor again. And the overall armor print here is a uh, decent overall. I think this a little bit off center down the legs, but um, overall it's printed really nice, printed really well. Same goes with the back. So let's plug that back on. And yeah, overall, pretty good print. In conclusion, these are definitely good replacement figures if you can't afford the actual sets to get them. They're all done pretty well, and the quality control and quality itself has improved quite a fair bit since when we first saw Deku a few years ago. So I'm glad Deku is improving, and I hope they carry on to improve so that they actually fix the quality control and we won't get you know, one or two not properly printed figures in the batch. And, uh, yep, especially for the price, these are excellent. I really like that steampunk ninja figure. That's really cool. So uh, I do recommend this pack. All six figures here are pretty nice, pretty useful pieces. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. So if you check out my other Ninjago video uh, before this, the, the six numbers were before this, I think both packs come together to form a pretty nice yeah, amount of toys to play with. Got heroes, got villains already. So that's great. A lot of these uh, bootleg packs one might miss out on the villains, but I'm glad that's not the case here. So I mean, if you, if you only want, if you only have the heroes, who are they going to fight? Them themselves? That'd be silly. Sometimes, maybe. Mm. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, or leave a comment below on how you feel about this set. And of course, please check out my other LEGO Ninjago related bootleg and of a few official related reviews. I've also reviewed a pretty decent bootleg of the Ninjago Temple. 
set. The entire set's been copied, including the LED light in the back for the uh, paper show that they, they watch. That's been copied.